Well, there was a call for art, and I read about the center and how this, there was an old center, a small center, which was basically being closed out by highways, and they got this new piece of property with this lovely little lake behind it, and this new center that really takes advantage of the lake. And thinking about the metaphor of the lake as a gathering place, which it traditionally is um, for human societies and for animal societies, and seeing the types of birds, the striped bass, the egrets that come to this lake, it seems like a real wonderful place to celebrate the Florida sun on the water, the egrets, the bass. It just seems like a perfect fit, so I did enter this one, and I was fortunate enough to be awarded the commission. The idea of making a celebration of the lake came to my mind as soon as I read the story of the center and how they were being closed out by highways. And I looked at the map and said, well, this is such a nice spot for them. And um, it was confirmed when we were doing the installation and we ate our lunches on the back porch just looking out at the lake. It's like, yes, this is really peaceful and beautiful. There's a kind of a mystery of where the light's coming from, because which I'll show you in a minute. The light reflects off the glass and creates these patterns like sunlight and then you get these blue shadows on the floor which are feeling like you're underwater, which are kind of subtle. You might not notice it the first time you're here. Um, it looks different during the day, it looks different at night. So, and there's a subtle motion in it, like the fish moving and the grass moving. And So just look at it from different angles and look at it at different times of day because it will look different to you, just like the lake does. Because um, it's the the whole art of making glass is a fascinating history of human science. And so I'm making art for people who might otherwise not have art in their lives. These aren't people who go to a gallery and buy art. 